I see that we do have some of our friends right now with us. I have them in the, the standby room. Give me one second. Let me bring them on up here. Uh, let me see if we got them. Testing, testing, one, two. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm great. How about you? Testing, testing, one, two. Awesome. Can you guys all hear him all right? Chad, can you hear him okay? While we're waiting for it's a little bit of a lag with uh, I'm trying to use a new platform or software called Restream. Okay, they can hear you just fine. So trying to get used to it myself. Uh, first and foremost, how's your morning going? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I'm pretty excited for what's upcoming with our project. And we're kind of a, uh, on, on, one, on one side hype because we are almost at uh, in the final stage of development. On the other side, uh, a bit tired because it was it was a long journey and the journey is just starting. So, yeah. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure it's yeah, just sure. now starting. Um, well, I do have, um, again, bear with me and I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance probably a couple of times. Um, but sure. I think there's a way if you want to screen share, I think there's a way that you can share your screen or I can just kind of host this and we can talk about Nolis and get to know uh, what you guys are doing as a platform and in the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, earlier before I brought you on, I was telling the stream that I purposefully tried to remain a little bit ignorant about everything. Uh, I did dip in a little bit and do a little bit of research myself and I do find the least part of everything very, very interesting, but I like to be surprised and I like to learn with the community uh, because I just like the excitement. You know, there's, it's the bear market. You got to be excited about some things somehow. Um, so if you don't mind, let's just start with, uh, could you give us a brief rundown of what Nolis is, how the origin story of it came about uh, and, you know, everything about it? Yeah, sure, sure. Why not? I uh, would love to. Well, actually, I'll start with the origin story. A uh, big part of the core contributors to the Nolus protocol uh, come for, uh, from a similar background. We, all, we have all worked in a, a, a fintech company uh, that it has its roots in Eastern Europe. However, uh, in, in, in times, it, it expanded almost on three continents. So uh, this is where we met. This is where we started working together. And after, let's say, 2017, we all got hooked into, into crypto, uh, which is kind of normal because we already got our interest in finance. And um, yeah, uh, afterwards, we started spinning ideas how we can create a better uh, lending solution for crypto natives to enjoy and to be, for example, have a less, less riskier terms because we all know that every crypto lender currently on the market works more like a pawn shop rather than a, a, a lending platform. Uh -huh. So I this like is that. how... I like that analogy. This is, yeah, this, this is how actually the, the, the idea of uh, the first DeFi lease and Nose came to be. Uh, we started uh, drawing some sketches and rough ideas in... Uh, I would say uh, mid the midst of 2020, and uh, once we 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 figure out how how we we can uh, we can deal with the over collateralization problem, for example, highly scoop with liquidations, we started pitching the idea to different people around us, and they said, yeah, I would really like to have a product like that, and I would definitely use it because it will give me more for for my money. And it, it will actually provide much better conditions in terms of what what we're currently used to in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, lending and borrowing solutions on the market. Cool, cool. So uh, let me ask you, kind of take a step back a little bit, <clears throat> specifically for finding your way into the cosmos. Have you guys always been cosmonauts, or what made you guys want to build here in the cosmos? <clears throat> To, to be honest, I know the answer, but <laughs> yeah. To, to be honest, um, I personally uh, got into Cosmos uh, via Terra in the uh, late 2019. Mm -hmm. But it, Terra was the stepping stone for me to start digging and learning more about Cosmos. I've always had an interest of uh, looking into projects besides Ethereum, and uh, th this was one of my main drivers because I already knew that technology was there, the infrastructure was there. And uh, reading the, the white paper back then, IBC is something that was on, on, only on, on paper and just like a concept. And in 2020, I, I think it was 2020 when we saw Osmosis making the first uh, real use case of IBC, we were like, okay, we have uh, robust infrastructure. We have our own application, uh, blockchain application that can handle the throughput needs for, uh, for the years to come. And we have the technology to scale horizontally and vertically as well. 
so yeah this is the place where we need to uh to build and to create the first defi lease awesome also so again so everybody knows as well how many people are actually on the team directly not advisors but like on your team yeah currently we are around 20 people uh give or take uh a um, big part of, of of the team are developers we have a, a relatively big de- de- developer team because uh, the, having your your own blockchain and sustaining your own blockchain needs a different i would say uh, have, have to, to have a much more uh, diverse team in terms of, of technological stack so we have a, a couple of people that couple of people that are devops uh, that that comprise our devops team we have a uh, rust developers that develop our smart contract and a golang uh, team that uh, sustain and develop the blockchain itself wow it's 20 people 20 are th- yeah. do you guys i'm sure with everything that's just recently been happening like you said you guys have been kind of like at this for a while now uh do you guys find it hard kind of getting together for um you know whatever whatever reasons to to kind of to work on things or do you guys kind of find yourselves in the same regions or are you guys kind of globally spread well, out we are globally spread out but we we, we have found our our pace and, and i would say that the team is compressed from people that are uh, quite good and what at what they do and we just do a, a quick meetups day to day meetups that we just discuss things and discuss progress and everyone's on on his job and doing his job at, at, at his best so i think we are quite good in terms of uh, uh, in terms of synergy between people so mm-hmm. hopefully this will this trend will go forward as well and you guys do have some uh at least in the cosmos space obviously uh some pretty hefty advisors could you tell me about the advisors that yeah you have? yes we uh, uh on our advisory board are zeki zeki manian we have uh, strange love as well uh uh, oh, wait, I'm, I'm scrolling up here trying to find it. I, yeah, I had sure. it a second ago. I, and, yeah. As you're saying, there we go. Uh, we also have uh, uh, Shane Molidor, which which is a uh, ex uh, uh, chief financial officer of Sendex, who helped us a lot with the tokenomics and uh, will, will hopefully will help us further when uh, the protocol grows enough so that we can pursue some uh, listings on centralized exchanges and et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. So if you don't mind me asking, how did, uh, because obviously, like I said, these two gentlemen, especially Zaki and Jack are very well respected in the Cosmos yeah. ecosystem. How did you guys formulate these uh, these relationships and how did that come about? Like, how did they become advisors? Uh, we, we met, we met with them, with uh, some of them online and they just liked the idea of what we wanted to build. And for example, <laughs> Zaki, we, we met on an event and we said, look, give us five minutes. We want to pitch you an idea. He liked the idea. and then the the talk went all, um, onwards. Gave him the old elevator pitch, huh? And he liked it. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Good. It, good, good. Well, let me let me move on from that. Um, in as best as you can, describe what Nolis is trying to accomplish. Like, what is Nolis, and what are you guys trying to accomplish? Okay. Uh, first, we want to solve some of, as I already mentioned briefly, some of the inefficiencies that are currently uh, we see uh, in the lending in in money markets. For example, over collateralization, high risk of liquidations, and asset over ownership in certain uh, uh, centralized exchanges. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I have to summarize what Nolas does in one sentence, is actually it actually gives the opportunity uh, to users to. Uh, gain three times more exposure to a certain asset, asset uh, with uh, compared to the equity they currently own. And I think here uh, I, can, I can do a brief example that for for the audience to to get the whole idea. For example, I know that the current we are currently in a bear market, but we we all know that it's at some point it's gonna end, and then tokens are gonna be uh, high up again in in terms of price. So. Uh, I currently own, let's say, uh, I have a hundred uh, US dollar, USDC that are available in in my in my portfolio, and I want to leverage Atom, for example, because I know currently Atom is quite inexpensive, mm-hmm. but but I want to have more exposure to Atom compared to uh, to to my hundred USDC. So what actually Nolus can provide is that it will provide me the the ability to to leverage my hundred USDC uh, in Atom with 150 per USDC on top of my 100, meaning that in the, in the end of the day, I can 
I can buy three, two, I would say uh, one and a half times more atoms compared to what my current equity is and what I can what I can have in terms of uh, in terms of exposure with atom. Okay. Okay. The the cool part here is because both uh, the loan that Nolas will will give me uh, uh, and both the my hundred USDCs that that I will provide as collateral. Both will be combined, and the whole position will act as collateral. Meaning that, in order for my positions to start getting liquidated, in need the, the the atom price needs to drop around 40, 45 percent to uh, for a, a liquidation trigger event to happen. And this will only be a partial liquidation. Meaning that my down payment that I have provided, the collateral that I have provided, won't be. Uh, will not be by any means be uh, be touched in terms of uh, the first liquidation when it happens. In order for for the protocol to fully liquidate my position, uh, the price of the atom needs to go down with uh, around seventy to eighty percent. So okay. I lose my hundred USDC in this sense. But this is the the downside. Let's let's say the atom price goes up. Uh, from the moment I have created my lease position uh, with Nolas. Let's say it, go, it does twofold, just for the sake of the example. Mm -hmm. In that sense, I, the, the, I need to repay to, to the protocol uh, still 150 uh, USD, US dollars in mm -hmm. USDC stablecoin. However, the asset that is underlying in the DeFi lease is already doubled in terms of uh, uh, denomination is in, in, in dollar denomination, meaning that, that I can um, I can uh, close partially uh, this position I, and I can repay my loan, let's say, with thirty percent of the atom that I have, that, that that are in this position, and the rest of of of, of the atoms will be released to me uh, back to me, and and I'll actually have a. Uh, Let's say uh, Adam's worth of uh, hundred and thirty percent, hundred and twenty five percent, compared to what I've started. Nice. I I so <laughs> this is the thing that got me because I was trying to think. Well, what is this? What, you know, why would I want to use this when there's other things that maybe not being built right now in the cosmos, but supposedly are supposed to be being built, like margins and futures and all this other stuff. If you mm -hmm. look at what I'm presenting, you guys uh, chat on the screen here. It gives you a really simple, easy way to kind of see the benefits versus <laughs> using other <laughs> options that are out there. And that's a, a really interesting, like just the liquidation, I find very, very fascinating and beneficial. Like I'm far more intrigued into possibly using Nolis just because of that, like that risk is very much taken off the table for me. Yeah, like, like I mentioned, 30 to 40 to 45 percent triggers partial liquidation and yeah. it will only be uh, it will only liquidate the amount needed for uh, for uh, the position to get into a healthier margin meaning that afterwards there can be one maybe two more liquidations for the position to be closed depending on on the assets price drop of course gotcha 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 um Nice. I, I really like guys. By the way, also in chat, if you guys have any questions, feel free to write them up and I will ask. Um, there is a little bit of delay. We're not using OBS. We're using Restream today. So I do apologize. But if you guys have any questions whatsoever, as always, IBC Gang has an open platform. You guys can always just straight up ask and we'll try to get that uh, asked to our friend here. Um, so what let me get this off of here. Sorry about that. What um as far as your guys's buildings and and the, maybe the frustrations or limitations that you guys have ran into, <clears throat> what have those looked like uh, previously or currently? And also, uh, like, when are you guys thinking about launching? Like, what's the what's the ETA? Yeah, well, uh, hopefully, if, uh, currently we are uh, we have a ongoing testnet for a couple of months. Our product is already live on testnet and can be tested from every user that would like to participate in a. Uh, uh, campaign that we've started. Is this an incentivized uh, testnet, or is there limitations to this at all? It's sort of a sort of an incentivized testnet, but it's not incentivized for, uh, let's say, for validators rather than users. For example, every user right. that wants to uh, to uh, give a go, give it a go to to the Nolus web app, uh, it can he can do so. The only the only thing that uh, is just a criteria for for him to 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 enroll is to have a 
let's say, $100 worth of staked uh, asset on uh, various Cosmos chains. For example, Atom, Osmosis, Juno, Kujira, uh, you, name, you name it. Okay, is there, so, um, I, I apologize, I don't have that on there, but on your guys' um, Twitter handle, if you guys would, here, let me actually see if I can drop this in chat as well. Definitely drop them a follow here. And I believe <laughs> I saw it, but is it on, is all of this information somewhere on a post in your Twitters? Yeah, we call the campaign Lease Drop. So just look at the, uh, have a look at the creatives that uh, have a big Lease Drop name in it. Okay. Uh, all, the, all the information is available in Discord and how to participate on uh, uh, in, in this incentivized campaign. Nice. And uh, just go and test our product. We can do okay. a live demo, actually, if you're yeah, interested. Um, let me see. Is there on your end, and again, apologize, is there a way for you to request to share your? Yes. Okay. I think I can. Over. This is the first time I've done this. Okay. Let's see. Okay. How about now? Let me see here. Perfect. Let me see if I can take my, my, uh, I don't know why mine is. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Bring that down there. Okay. There you go. All right. We'll follow, okay. we're following you. Okay. So, uh, for the sake of the example, I will be using Kepler wallet mm -hmm. and here is the, uh, the dashboard, uh, of, of the, the no swap application. Uh, for again, for the sake of the example, I've already transferred some uh, USDC tokens from Osmosis. It can be done easily through through send and receive, and I already have some NOS tokens that I need to pay gas on on the NOS blockchain. So for me to create a leverage position, uh, the sorry DeFi lease position, I just go to lease, and here is all that I need for 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 me to to create this position. For example, let's say following the example earlier, I have a hundred dollars. I want to leverage Atom. Uh, do you take in mind that we are currently connected to Osmosis testnet, where the prices of 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 assets are different compared to their uh, real life price, mm -hmm. uh, real life value? So, currently on Osmosis testnet, the the price of one Atom is twenty one dollars. But as, that'd be nice. Can, can we actually yeah, just swap for yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, would love to, but we've, we 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 would have missed all the upside potential. So. <laughs> so okay, I have a down payment, meaning I provide a collateral of hundred dollars. Mm. The system will provide me hundred and fifty dollars in terms of uh, a loan, and uh, the, those hundred and fifty and the hundred that I provide will be slot, will be swapped for. 11.6 atoms and this will be the least position that I'm that I will be opening the interest rate currently is 16 percent this the the interest rate varies depending on the utilization of funds of the system okay. however once the least position is open this interest rate stay fixed for the whole time is there ever now this might be a stupid question but is there any uh like a cap for interest or is it just always yes fluctuate? it's 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 capped uh, uh, on uh, 18 percent. Okay. It cannot go uh, from eighteen percent, eighteen percent and a half, or okay. more. This is this is the the, the upper bandwidth. The, the lower bandwidth is something around ten to to twelve percent. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So partial liquidation, first liquidation trigger should occur in fourteen dollars, meaning that the price of atom needs to fall down with almost eight dollars, so that a liquidation trigger should event should should happen. So, but that's, okay. that's just a partial liquidation, correct? Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's the first liquidation. It, and it's a partial liquidation and it will probably close around 25% out of, out of the whole position, meaning that it will sell only 25% uh, out of those 11 atoms that we're currently uh, going to open as a base position. Mm -hmm. So what actually happens current, uh, now is that I'm going to sign this and uh, uh, we'll wait for the transaction to go through. Once the transaction goes through, we can see that here is my lease position getting opened. Why getting opened is because something that we've done as a technological, I would say, solution is that we actually, the, the, the NOLS protocol actually does not need to hold any assets, but only stable coins in its vaults for, for the DeFi lease system to work which is something unique, again, compared to, if we compare it to, let's say, markets like uh, Compound or Aave. Yeah, I was going to say, what I've actually, never... Yeah. Okay, what, actually, 
currently is happening under the hood is that uh, um, those stable coins that uh, we've provided in into the system as down payment as collateral and the, the borrowed stable coins from Nolus are actually transferred now to uh, to Osmosis. And what we do first is open an interchain account channel to Osmosis. Afterwards, we transfer the assets. The Nolus protocol automatically transfers the assets. And the last step before completing the, um, the, the uh, this is to swap the assets into atoms that's smart that's really yeah. that's really really smart yeah. using and the other tools and other uh resources that you have exactly. around you guys instead of bogging you guys the, down i like that that's the that's the whole point of uh, cosmos i mean that that's the whole idea of cosmos yeah. uh, uh having a, a connection between different products and leveraging their their uh i would say technology rather than trying to create everything on one blockchain yeah. So uh, we we have we used interchain accounts here to do that, meaning that there is no smart contract counterparty on the Osmosis side. Mm -hmm. uh, with every release, we create a new interchain account on Osmosis that uh, this smart contract contract controls this account on on Osmosis. So first, we open a channel, we open an account on Osmosis. Second, as I mentioned, we transfer the first and third is swap them. Once swapped, there you go. You have a open list position for eleven point five, uh, approximately eleven point five atoms. The interest rate is sixteen percent, and we'll stay that that way uh, for uh, the whole duration of 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 this list position to be available. Okay, so it gets the locked in there. That interest rate gets locked in there. It won't yeah, fluctuate. Exactly, no. exactly. And the outstanding debt is one hundred and fifty dollars in denominated in USDC, for example. So let's say uh, we want to do a repayment. The, the price has already uh, reached a certain threshold that, that uh, we are happy with and we want to close our position. All we do now is just repay. I'll do the full repayment. and. Uh, but you can also do partial uh, repayments as well, right? Yeah, like sure, sure, yeah, sure, I like that. sure. I really like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. You can you can you can repay whatever you like. You can repay only the interest, for example. And I uh, there you go. Really find this super super intriguing and interesting. I will. I'm definitely going to be playing around uh, on the test net for sure, regardless if it's incentivized or not. Uh, I do have to ask because obviously uh, a few people have asked me similar questions for different things in the past. Uh, are U.S. like regardless? Is there any kind of like restrictions for U.S. Uh, people test? using your test net or anything like that? So, uh, to, to, to use the test net, there is no uh, legal boundaries. However, we, we still work with our uh, uh, with our team, legal team to figure out how to make it available for US citizens as well. Because yeah, I will say we know, guys, we, we know Gary, Gary Gensler, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Regardless, uh, because I've, I'm obviously in the States, guys, and everybody, a lot of people that follow the channel are also in the States. I would just... You know, you guys do you, like I always say here, um, this is a very interesting and definitely something that we need and I want to see succeed in our space, uh, regardless if it's incentivized or not, or, you know, I would at least ask of you to just play around with it. See, you know, you know, helping them find bugs and helping them find the and outs or at least giving them feedback helps them build a better product. Uh, and then in turn, obviously, like long term. Uh, if they actually produce a really good product that is easy to use, is seamless, uh, and people are finding a lot of benefit, it's probably going to benefit your bags long term anyway. So think of it like that. Don't just look for airdrops or something like that. Think of the long term. I'm definitely going to be playing around with this. Uh, this looks really, really simple, simplistic, and I love that. Uh, I think keeping it simple, stupid is like the way to go with just about everything, especially in crypto, though. Uh, and so far, what I've seen looks really, really easy and dumbed down. Not to say like it's, you know, so dumb. Yeah, we, we, but, we want we, we don't want to keep, make it dumb. However, we want to make it accessible to, yeah. to people that are also not native to 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 crypto tools, especially DeFi tools, because they can get a little. Uh, I would say on uh, the the uh, the learning curve for for normies to get into DeFi is uh, uh, really steep. So we want to keep it as as accessible as possible. It's steep even for us. Like the IBC gang will yeah. tell you, we're we're here, and it's still like some yeah. of the things that get presented. We're like. What yeah. you want us to do? What? <laughs> yeah, that, that's correct. I think I think the, the the biggest issue that we currently need as an IBC gang to 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 solve is the the multi hop solutions that will actually give give a lot more powers to to to, to tools like ours to 
to work and to be like, let's say one monolithic blue to blockchain. Right. So I do have a yeah. question from Bashido Brown in chat. Uh, it's, he says, so what happens if we only close part of our position and liquidation occurs? Is it on the full position or only what's left? Uh, let me, can you read here? So what happens if we only close part of our position, liquidation occurs? If, if a liquidation occurs, it will only be on the position that is left in the smart contract. For example, if you close partially part of your position and you withdraw, let's say, part of, of the atoms that are that were in the position, they're already in your wallet and they're out of I would say out of the contract and they don't know, they do not play any role in, in 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 the liquidation. So yeah, if if you want to withdraw some some atoms from your position, you will actually get your loan to value loan to value ratio higher, meaning that liquidation will happen much faster compared to once you started. Right, okay. Um, if you, Unless you have anything else you want to share about the test net, which looks great. Yeah, I just, I just want, this is the part where uh, we are borrowers, we borrow money out of the system. But the, the other thing that is relatively unique here is the, the uh, our earned product. It will actually provide a quite decent yield on uh, stable coins. Uh, in the beginning, uh, and here is something clever that we all that this is we the did, part is I love, that, guys. I'm rubbing my hands because yeah. I like actually providing liquidity. I love yeah. doing some of these things, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but I really like providing liquidity more than anything. Uh, tell me about the USDC liquidity, my friend. Tell me, tell me what can I look yeah. forward to? Yeah, yeah. Well, what you can look forward to is that actually the actual 16% that you saw as an interest. Uh, um, around 40% out of those 16% will go to liquidity providers. Nice. Uh, and the real and the, the real deal here is that we've managed to create a, a, an efficiency ratio, which once uh, if it's breached, uh, the, the deposit the, the the function to deposit new USDC as a liquidity provider will be closed until this uh, ratio is restored meaning that we, we will not dilute the yield that that will be distributed to lend to 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 lenders that that have already um, provided liquidity to the system yeah are you familiar uh and i don't mean to stray away but it's kind of um when i was looking at everything i, I just thought of it um are you familiar with what like Kava used to do with the liquidity providers where if you got in early, I think they called it like their surges or whatever. It's been a while since I've looked at mm, it. Yeah. Uh, but the yeah. early liquidity providers up to a certain amount, like the first million or something like that, got a different percentage. Or uh, is that anything like that happening or? Well, uh, yes and no. I mean, the, the concept is the same. The whole idea is for uh, early pro liquidity providers to, to get the most uh, benefits out of, out of, uh, of, of, uh, in terms of yield, however, the, the whole concept is to, to have a balance, to, to have a way to balance uh, the demand and the supply. Meaning then that that once the demand grows, uh, there will be room for the supply to increase. If the demand slows down, uh, the the supply should not be uh, extended further, because gotcha. if if it's if it's extended further, it will create the, the delusion into the EU that uh, liquidity providers will uh, will suffer. Yeah, you kind of get diminishing returns if yeah. you kind of overstep yeah. that. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. Um, I, th I think the, the, the best way here to, to reference is with Anchor. Anchor, before it, uh, before uh, uh, UST uh, lost its spec, Anchor had some point, let's say something like two, maybe three uh, billion in terms of loans and something like 20 billion in terms of deposits, mm -hmm. meaning that there was a very, very steep uh, delusion happening uh, if it, it wasn't subsidized. Yeah, that, and that was a big part of like amongst many other things that of their issues and whatnot. But yeah, so um, obviously you're going to get uh, in your the yield that you're getting. You're, are you you're, you're getting it back in L NLS? Excuse me. No, you're you're actually getting into a big part of the of, of the yield you're getting into USDC. 
And uh, for being a, prov uh, a, a liquidity provider, being some of the f of, of the first, you get uh, additional rewards that will uh, that will be distributed in in our native token. Oh, that's right, because you said that that percent forty yeah. yeah. percent goes back to the LPs. That's yeah. right. Okay. And, cool. Yeah, and as I mentioned, there is a small, uh, I would say, the, uh, a small spread between the amount interest that borrowers will pay uh, to and uh, the ones that the system will distribute to lenders. And this percent will be used to uh, buy back our native token from the open market and refill these rewards pools, meaning that this will create a sustainability in terms of rewards distribution that will further make uh, make it even better for for lenders to to stay on the long run with with knowledge. Awesome, awesome. And that that is the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is. Um... Do you, I'm sure you know who Joe is. Uh, Joe and I, we always joke about being the boomers of the space and we're always like, you know, complaining about realistic, sustainable uh, business models and whatnot. Uh, one of the biggest things we always bang as far as that drum goes is, uh, you know, uh, these projects, the recent projects and protocols uh, and them uh, with their way to generate revenue. Uh, can we speak a little bit about how Nolis uh, plans to be sustainable uh, and maintain a, a profitable revenue? Yeah, I, I just outlined one, one of the revenue streams that mm -hmm. uh, the Nolis protocol will have baked in from day one. Yeah, uh, There are more and one of them is that this is the reason why we actually opted out for a, uh, an upchain specific uh, design rather than uh, deploying our protocol to any uh, permissionless L1 is that we actually saw uh, a lot of value of having a, a small, let's say, fee on top of every transaction done on the blockchain because this small fee is won't be something that people will, will mind. However, it will make uh, it will it will be uh, a lot in terms of of revenue for the protocol because mm -hmm. let's say if if you have a, a fifty hundred transactions per month or or maybe more uh, this will be like cents in terms of denominated in uh, in in dollars but those cents uh, compounded will create a really decent revenue stream that will one more time buy back our native token from the open market and distribute it to different parties in the ecosystem and different participants. Okay. Uh, one, more, one more thing that uh, we, we are currently working on is to create a sort of a, think of it as an the DEX aggregator that will uh, provide the option for people to swap tokens directly from uh, the Nolos UI, uh, the, the DAP. And th again, there there will be a small fee that 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 will do the same thing. Meaning that we will start with a, let's say three revenue streams that will create sustainability for the protocol. But this is only the beginning. Uh, the, the 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 I would say the, the the most beautiful thing in this design is that when a lease position is open, there is an actual uh, underlying asset that can be utilized throughout the whole period of of, of the lease position. For example, let's say you open a atom atom position, uh, and uh, uh, you want to uh, you can use those atoms while they're they're in the list position. So we can, for example, create different vote strategies that will utilize diff different protocols in the Cosmos ecosystem mm -hmm. that will bring you. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, you as a user, that will bring you. Um, passive income on top of, of uh, what you've already have as exposure. And second, it can uh, repay your loan. And third, it will be an additional revenue stream for the protocol. So gotcha. there's a lot, there's a lot, a, a lot going on there that we have in mind and we'll, we'll be developing in the months to come. So I heard this synergy uh, in your comments, and obviously some of your advisors uh, deeply involved with Sommelier. Uh, when you said vaults, like I just couldn't help but like kind of draw to that. Uh, I absolutely love uh, that that I found that. Is there other um, synergies uh, while we're speaking about that that are out there in, the, especially the Cosmos ecosystem, obviously, yeah. uh, that you yeah, are looking sure. to jump onto? We will have uh, uh, LSDs available in the system from day one, meaning that you can leverage LSD tokens uh, oh, wow. from Stripe. Uh, <laughs> you're talking about is, a lot of DGN yeah. T5 stuff. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. So, for example, let's say you, uh, you you can do a DeFi list position in, in uh, ST Osmo. 
Uh -huh. uh, this is the strife derivative, and uh, this derivative will actually gain uh, uh, like 25 to 24% annually in terms of uh, appreciation of, of, of the derivatives price compared to, 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 to the Austin price, uh, which and this 25% this can repay your, uh, your interest, annual interest with NOLAS and repay partially uh, part of your, uh, of your principal as well. So any any um, ST variation of an asset, whether it's Adam Juno, I don't know what's out there right now. Adam Juno Osmo, uh, there's a, you'll take all of them from day one. Yeah, uh, no, we'll start with with Adam and Osmo, but Osmo, it, okay. it's going to be re relatively easy for us to expand to to other uh, ST tokens. Yeah, because what's the most popular ones right now? There's obviously Adam Osmo. Um, Juno, Stars. I think Injective, Injective. is also one yeah. of the, the popular ones as well. Yeah, man, my my mind is just running right now. It could be the coffee, but I love the conversation, like where it's at. I I, I can't help but think of literally how degeny things can get. Like a very very not you know, there's always risk and stuff like that. But like if you just look at the fundamental landscape for all of not just. Uh, no list, but the partnerships and the synergies that you're looking to take advantage of that are out there. If you look at those uh, as, you know, stride, you're looking at Osmo with their, uh, and their platform and what they're working on as far as like the changes, uh, you know, obviously I think today, Juno, uh, even though it's not just there yet, I would, I would assume eventually, like you said, you're going to have that there. Uh, they're making some big changes, stars, obviously making platform changes like, this could be very and the, and the way that this is structured where there's partial liquidations and how cheaper it is and i absolutely love what i'm hearing from nolis right now absolutely love hearing Thank everything you. that i'm hearing uh chat i think you guys hopefully you guys aren't falling asleep but do you guys like what do you guys think i've been waiting for a long time for a product similar to this where there was options futures uh, whatever, right? Like to actually come and be fully functional within the specifically the Cosmos ecosystem. And again, just to toot your horn that you're here, I really like what I'm seeing. I love this. Absolutely love this. I'm going to be providing liquidity for sure. So I'm going to beat you guys there first and foremost on that. So anybody that wants to beat me there, I, I challenge you, but I'll I'll be the, one of the first ones lined up for USDC and putting it on there. <laughs> um. Let me see here. I'm sorry. I was ranting here. Just my mind went everywhere with with, with the possibilities um, with leasing our assets. Um, as far as the Nolis token, can you speak to us a little bit? Obviously, it's going to be governance. Uh, like, what is the val? Am I overthinking this validator setup and all this? Can you tell us about the tokenomics, the Nolis token? Yeah, sure. Uh, the the there will be a, in total uh, one billion tokens that that will go into supply. Uh, the, uh, I think um, I, I might be wrong, but I think the inflation rate, uh, the inflation was something around, around uh, ninety or no fifteen percent, meaning yes, that uh, one hundred and fifty million out of one hundred and fifty million out out of the, this one one billion will will be diluted in in ten years time times okay. and will be distributed to validators. From that on, the, the biggest uh, pool is uh, the community, meaning the the DAO treasury that uh, will be used from stakeholders to do and and to to propose how how to be spent. Um, we have then team tokens and uh, some small small um, um, portion of the tokens went to uh, and will go to uh, private sales to uh, let's say raise enough money to continue developing the the, the product uh, for the years to come. Nice. nice. Yeah. From uh, other than that, uh, I guess other two other two uh, two things are uh, some tokens for liquidity on different uh, exchanges and uh, bug bounty. Okay. Um, when when I scroll down here a little bit, uh, as far as the token goes, obviously we do have token sales, which all this guys is very very common. Uh, I, just to kind of poke into it, we don't have to go too far into it, but like uh, early um, investors who participated in there, is there like what what's their um, lockup period look like, or what does that all look like? It's relatively big because um, our our lockup period as as core contributors is something like three years. Okay. Uh, so uh, for for the pre seed, we, we did uh, uh, something like two years, two two years and more, in terms of uh, uh, cliff investings. Uh, 
mm-hmm. and uh, uh, the the, the pre seed uh, uh, companies that 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 entered in this round actually bought something like seven point five percent of the whole supply, and uh, the rest will be uh, will, will be sold in 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 future when when we feel the need that there's we need more money to to continue the operation. So right. for the time being, this is the, these are the only tokens sold to on the market seven point five percent. The, the next the time, uh, I'm just going to humbly ask you should ask the IBC gang and uh, mm-hmm. Maneki Dow. It's, we would love to have a guy. Yeah, sure. So I'm, just, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm just, hey guys, I had you can't blame me. I had to put my <laughs> yeah. trying to get in the door. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, cool. Uh, love it, love it. Um, validators, uh, is there any anything there that? Um, yeah, twenty. To, 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 I think twenty five up to forty. Up to forty will be the, the active set of validators. We have uh, a validator program uh, for twenty five of them that will have a stake in the system. We already have some of the most prominent names that are validating our test net, okay. and uh, hopefully this is how it is going to go in the years to come. Okay, uh, and is there? While, while, yeah, so, while I, I can envision this getting a lot of traction, uh, but as you guys scale, as you guys grow, obviously there's possibility of that opening up to a larger number of validators for decentralization. If, 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 if we see the need for, for it, because for the time being, uh, don't forget that this is not a, a, a permissionless L1, a multi-purpose L1, rather that it's going to, to only to serve the needs of the Nolus protocol, meaning that right. it's going to be difficult for us. We need to scale a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. the, in order to fill the, the the blocks and and uh, and to to have a need of uh, more than forty validators in in the active set. Gotcha. But and yeah, I, I do it, want to ring your bell. That you do bring up a good point. I think a lot of people do get lost in the whole, you know, DeFi and permissionless uh, narrative. There is a lot of guys. Uh, I understand, chat, that there is a lot of benefits to things as far as building it being permissionless. But there's a lot of actually very important uh, benefits from being permissioned or even semi-permissioned. Um, you know, depending on what you're presenting and what service you're providing and stuff like that. So I, yeah. I, I totally, totally agree. Totally understand what yeah. you're saying. Um, in, in, in in the Nolus use case, uh, the, the Nolus chain is actually semi-permission, meaning that mm-hmm. stakeholders can decide whether, uh, let's say, a new functionality or a new uh, different smart contract that is not developed from the Nolus core team can be deployed on the blockchain. Awesome. 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 Uh, <laughs> Chicka Taco says, when IBC gang airdrop, guys, the airdrop, who knows, right? Like, even Americans, we don't know. They got to work within their, their, uh, what their lawyers say. And I, I yeah. honestly, from go, from go and now, test the platform, go yeah. and test the platform now. Just test go the to platform. our Discord and test the platform. Yeah, just test the platform, guys. Uh, and, and, and if you, if something happens after that, consider that a benefit. But the, uh, I think a lot of people for the Cosmos ecosystem, I will say, uh, and obviously we're seeing it right now anyway, but I think a lot of people, while they may or may not have, maybe they just heard of it or maybe they, per- I've really benefited from airdrops in the past, but I think we should start sh- kind of pivoting away from the expectation of airdrops, 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 uh, especially now in this market condition. If we want sustainable, realistic, uh, and it's hard for some people to connect that DeFi applications or protocols or services to be available for us. It is just what it is. We got to play within uh, the bumper lanes that we have. So, um, I, I love it in any case, uh, I would, uh, I'm going to put, I'm going to, again, try to get my foot in the door here. Uh, consider Cosmos spaces validator. They're a great validator team. They run relayers. Uh, they're, they're in, you've already had a great spaces with them. Uh, I don't know, you know, if how much further it's gone, but we, we love them. IBC gang has partnered up with them and we absolutely love them. Um, Consider them to be part of uh, of, of Nolis because they're phenomenal, and I think they, they could do you guys uh, and vice versa a great benefit. Um, any questions at all, guys? Any other questions for our friends? Kind of delayed there. Or do you have anything else that you would like to talk about uh, while we have a moment? Well, I guess that's uh, in a nutshell. This is what, what we're building. Uh, I'm quite excited of uh, uh, the progress so far, and I would love to see it um, on on mainnet in 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 the upcoming month. And yeah. see you guys there. See you guys on Noah's making yeah. money. Which I, I, I do have I do have a, I do have a, a question. While I I was trying to look for this earlier, of course. Uh, so 
obviously they're going to be get your be able to get exposure bitcoin ethereum uh bnb is this true is all of this avax well at some point yes okay this is okay. this is you're you're looking at our website and we've just made it a little bit sweeter uh, listing more tokens but um as i mentioned uh we only need uh, to have enough integrations with various DEXs that have uh, sufficient liquidity of those tokens for the protocol to 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 provide uh, leases for them. So, yeah, at some point we will have uh, uh, wrapped Bitcoin, wrapped Ethereum, uh, hopefully uh, Binance Coin, some wrapped version of it, right? And Avalanche as well. Yeah, I've, I've, Avax. You guys knew what you guys were doing because my my mouth started watering the minute I started scrolling down. I was like. Bro, this would be so cool if I could get exposure to all of these like this. So cool. Um, <laughs> with that, I really appreciate you taking your time. Uh, we've been talking for not right, not an hour yet, but right around there. Uh, I've been really, really excited to talk to you guys and learn more. IBC gang, tell your mama, tell your sister, tell your brother, tell everybody you know at work, the people that's stealing your lunch there at work, to go check out the Discord, get involved on the test net. Um, you know, just, just to be good people be supportive go check it out maybe if you get something great if not you're still providing a great service uh and you're letting other people uh you know you know you're testing things for other people in advance but love it we're definitely going to be flooding your guys' discord uh we'll be sharing this on youtube uh and we're going to be making other videos some shorts and stuff like that trying to get you guys more exposure absolutely love it my friend uh can't wait can't wait for you guys to be fully deployed and when you guys do would you please come back on the channel again I would love to. Uh, thank you for having us uh, in the first place. And uh, thank you for the lovely conversation and for the kind words. Awesome. Awesome.